Murphy's Law. You have to make that up, can you? Even the best bird hunting trips come with casualties. Missed the spot. No matter what North Dakota winter weather takes, she gives back in pure bird numbers. Today, we wrestle late season ringnecks on the ranch. Rooster! Flush, presented by Federal Premium Ammunition and Pheasants Forever. First thing I grab is the cooler. It's going to be that kind of trip. If friends come a dime a dozen, that okay on top? Justin Vucinovich might be worth a million bucks. After all, he volunteered to drive this trip. Snowstorm on the way, so it makes sense that we should hook up the boat and drive to North Dakota. We'll go six hours that way and we'll be there. The south side of Bismarck, to be exact. Where fire on the prairie makes us wonder just how much habitat goes up in smoke. After dark, we make our turn onto the gravel and find rolling plains and an aptly named retreat. Quite a place. We got the ham. Kill the balsa. I wonder how snow and cold might affect our hunt, if we even get much. hours later, our answer comes quickly. When we wake up in the morning, the snow is falling. On a bacon and eggs kind of morning, we gear up. Outside, we realize right away, snow will impact our day. Can't, can't make that up, can you? <laughs> Note to sell, first night, don't leave window open in storm. Better than rain. That's pretty classic. Missed the spot. Life's a trip, man. Justin and I head to a piece of habitat not half a mile from the cabin. There, we meet Jeremy Doan. You're the boss. Half owner of Rolling Plains Ranch. Well, ever since I was small, my grandparents always said, you'll be the fifth generation taking over the ranch. You know, I, that always stuck with me. Jeremy runs the 10,000 acre cattle ranch with an outdoor twist. Shut up. Jeremy opened the ranch to fall hunts, exactly why we've come. It's a pretty cool mix of stuff. To hunt Wiley, and I mean Wiley. Is that a rooster? Young rooster. Late season pheasants. There goes another one way out there. Another, there they all go. Yep, oh, look at them go. Wow. Did you see how many birds went out the end? We saw a fair number of birds, just wish we could have got on uh, the three, four hundred that got out the ends a lot sooner. If we can get close, I have no doubt Justin's dogs will find the birds. So off in Lab's room, so far out, but Justin's dogs stay at like 10 to 20 yards. Justin hunts two yellow Labrador retrievers, Sitka and Ranger, both bred from the same father, born to different mothers. Ranger is nine, Sitka is four. 
Ranger's kind of the old mother hen teaching the, the little one how things go. And after today, she's probably a little wore out, probably gonna sleep for the next week just to recover. Even so, the dogs grind through the snow. At the end of our first walk, a truck pulls in. Go on. I heard you were working on your hair. Meet Jay Dome, <laughs> the other half owner of the ranch. How you doing? Good. Justin. Justin J. Doan. He's Jeremy's brother. Our cattle business is number one. Been that way since 1882 when we homesteaded. But the guys decided the pheasant hunts could help sustain their business. Maybe something in here. Which brings us to the real roots of this story. Rooster! Oh, they had that one nailed. Do you have that on film? Oh, yeah. See, all this habitat, it's here for good reason. You know, it's a little expensive to do it, but we get dual benefits. We plant a 16 uh, mixed variety cover crop. It's a wildlife utopia. They hunt it in the fall, then the cattle get to graze it over the winter. It's just like the perfect scenario. Rooster, right at you. I think you hit that one. <laughs> oh boy, I think he's dead. So, is our day one hunt. Nice shot as slowly but surely we work on limits of birds. There you go. Nobody around. Nobody. The Flush brought to you by Federal Premium Ammunition. Every shot counts. Polaris. Yeti Coolers. And by Benelli. Wandering in a classic North Dakota snowstorm. There are going to be a lot of birds at some point. We hunt late season pheasants. We got a point over here. Rooster. Oh, oh, watch it. Boom, there it went. Nice job. Jeremy and Jay Doan run Rolling Plains Adventures, brothers and business partners. There they're getting out. Yep, there goes some left. The two manage the family's 10,000 acre ranch. We want to see if an actual cattle ranch can sustain wild pheasants. Our answer, there goes. Oh. <laughs> oh. comes the very first day. Right in the head. What's with you in these three yard shots? Just take your hat and scoop them up. I haven't had a long flush yet. Oh! <laughs> so how can I? They were holding pretty good. I mean, basically you have to step on them to get them up. And the ones that were flying were flying out three quarters of a mile of pretty wily. After lunch. You ready to mic me up or ready to go? <laughs> we add a few more friends to the group. I smell a prairie storm a coming. But I'm not sure that will help us rein in these wily ringnecks. Seems the more we walk, and, 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 good boy, Boomer. The tougher the birds get. I think we got three dogs on point. Maybe we should go see them. Well, they smarten up fast. I mean, there's flying predators, ground predators, and then hunters. Which is why the Dones count on the ranch dogs. Bailey and, and Coda, right there, that's my all-star team. Bailey and Coda are German short hair pointers with a knack for finding birds. They've got very strong noses and show us few false points. Bailey is the nine-year-old. Coda is the young one, now two and a half years old. You know, these, these dogs, they, they have it in them. It's in their blood. The end result. A lot of tracks. The dogs learn to find these tough birds. Rooster! Go, 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 go! Smart bird. They learn the higher you get, the less chance you have of getting out. We run into birds. Not that many go down. Hey, by the way, mine that got up like that are dead. Rooster! Go, go, go! Take them, Rob! Wait till he's at 75 yards. Good job. Rooster. 
it sort of feels like we unravel a bit. Yeah, see? That was a long one. Before sunset, we check one last spot. That is a cocky bird right there. And up on the little ridge there, we bump all the birds again. Look at them. Yeah, look at them all get up right here. Rooster, coming at you, Rob. There they go. Oh my gosh, look at them. And right at sunset, we get what we're looking for. Look at them going. We book it up that hill, and sure enough, those birds blow. And, and rooster up front. I mean, it's like an explosion, a bouquet of these roosters and, and hens getting up. Rooster, rooster! Rooster, rooster right! And this! Rooster! I saw that. Point, point. Double point. Get him up, get him up. In the late flurry. Rooster! We take only one other bird. Good shot, Rob. But you know what? That's okay. Say the best for last, right? <laughs> that was awesome. And sometimes it's it's more about watching the wildlife than than the kill. And that's that's a true sport. The flush is brought to you by Nordic Components. Carlson's Choke Tubes. North Dakota. Legendary and by Purina Pro Plan. Rooster, right at you. I think you hit that one. After a day of highs. Low, 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 take them, Rob. And maybe a few lows, we retreat to our cabin at Rolling Plains. So Justin's got a little hobby. Turns out, he likes to cook. So tonight, he's whipping up something kind of special for dinner. Pheasant poot tomata something. Putinesta. Yeah, that's it. Time to chow. It's the first time on this trip where everyone's been just kind of silent. We end day one with full bellies and warm hearts. Stand Come day two. Hey! A chill settles in. Day no, number two. That's cool. So we decide to head to town. Up next, a place called Breton. Breton. Bear with me, I'll explain. This is the old North Dakota town of Britain. They said they had everything. A long forgotten and abandoned farm settlement hidden on the backside of the ranch. That's where my grandparents met and they were the third generation on this place. I think we found the old dance hall. Not much left, but a few decaying foundations, the old grain elevator and random yeah, relics. The grown over ghost town has a pile of habitat around it. Let's just gut punch it. Gut punch it. <laughs> Energized, we walk right down Old Main Street. Hand, hand, hand. Literally 100 yards ahead, the spot we watched at least 100 pheasants drop in during yesterday's snowstorm. We walk and we walk and we walk. The lack of shooting lulls us darn near to sleep. A. You gotta be me. <laughs> With a serious attitude adjustment needed. Man, they are wily. We change our game plan. Rumor is the cattails might have a couple of birds. Ah. So we trudge into pheasant hunting's land of no remorse. There goes one. None. 
Nada. Zilch. Just neck deep, thick, thigh busting cattails. And it's just hard, late, end of season hunting. And, and oh, it's unbelievable how many tracks are in here. These birds are the definition of tough North Dakota pheasants. And, and, jeez. Pointers aren't made for this, slabs are. And what's driving me nuts is there are a ton of birds here. They are just so wily right now. Pen, pen. But if it was easy, you know, everybody would be doing it and it wouldn't be as fun. Pen, pen, pen. Oh my God. Pen. Pen. That's all part of hunting. You know, people always say, I almost stepped on that bird. Well, of course. You're in its path. It could be a foot away from you and it's not gonna get up. Sometimes you just kind of get your tail handed to you. And wow. Rooster! After a bite to eat, we take over Rolling Plains Lodge. So what do I do to play this game? Just shoot the ones with horns. When? Now. And get our shooting in after all. This gun shoots over him too. Yeah, I don't think it's a gun. Outside of our shenanigans, the old main lodge sits silent. It's kind of nice to just have the place to ourselves. We just happened to hit a lull. Yeah, there was a, a break in uh, guests coming, but it's gonna fill back up tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Upland habitat continues to disappear at an alarming rate. Join Pheasants Forever today to help them fight for healthy habitat, clean water, and abundant wildlife. When you do, you'll receive this Pheasants Forever game shears and field knife set. Follow this link to sign up, because your opening day starts with the action you take today. <sighs> Shooters love to blow off steam. Thrower's choice. If you have targets. No bird. And a thrower that works. Pull. No! Oh. He's getting the hang of it now. Game on. Oh. Yeah, nice frickin' low ball. Now this is fun. Pull. Oh. Pull. Oh. What's the magic word? Please, pull. Ready? Oh, I gotcha. With barrels hot and confidence suddenly strong. One just ran right in the trees. We choose one last sunrise. Hurrah. A silent spot and stock. We're giving it our best effort here. A quick walk through one last spot. I'm gonna hunt this little clump and that little clump. And guess what happens? Rooster, rooster. Finally, you missed. Yeah, right. I am so happy about that. I did not miss. We get school again. Let's take a break and go. Well, the only other thing you could do would be a quick. Uh... No, we're done. Okay. Time to give ringnecks a break. Let's get out of here. We hook up the boat and head north of Bismarck to a favorite old sort of secret spot of mine. Minn Kota Power has a plant on Nelson Lake and they use the water to cool the turbine. So the water here never freezes. So you can open water fish it all year long. I mean, it's surreal. It is a wickedly unique landscape. Normally, Nelson looks like this come December. 
Warm water meets cold air to create a surreal fishing environment. You good? But today, we've got almost 50 degree weather. Weird in December. I mean, that bank should be covered in snow. We should be lost in the fog. What you got to say? What you got to say? Nelson is a pretty fishy place. Oh, son! Hill Dancer. Son! It's a cute little guy. Proud of you. It takes just a couple of casts for us to find fish. He smoked it. Wow. Man alive. This is a pretty fun adventure. This feels like a Justin fish. Yep, it's a Justin. You leaned on it like it was a state record. Bass come to hand on darn near every cast. How sweet? It is. Oh, it's blast. Blast cast right here. Good job. Goal accomplished. Let's go back home to Minnesota. Justin and I hope this trip might turn into a fun adventure. Think about it. You can't, can't make that up, can you? Cold, wind, snow the first day, tricky birds to keep us on our toes days two and three. And then we wrap up the trip in 50 degree weather and sun. That's why we travel. The unexpected the makes these trips. <laughs> that was awesome. Especially at a place called Rolling Plains. <laughs>